what is up guys. This is Bullshot, back again with another Call of Duty mobile video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So in today's video, I am gonna be covering the top 5 best submachine guns to use inside of the Season 2 Battle Royale. I am gonna be ranking these 5 insanely powerful weapons based on their time to kill, the aim assist system, and their overall versatility in the battlefield, and I am gonna showing you the best gunsmith builds you can get your hands on inside of the Battle Royale. The entire thing may be a little bit longer, but the video and the loadouts will be extremely helpful for all of my fellow viewers. That's why, I am suggesting you to stick to the end of the video. Now, if this is your first time here in my channel, then be sure to press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I make some great tips and tricks videos and make some pretty powerful loadouts for the battle royale. And trust me, you don't want to miss out any of my custom build. You can also follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server for exclusive tips and more awesome content. Links are provided in the description. Anyways, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Starting at number 5 spot, we have the MAC-10. This used to be the fastest killing submachine gun inside of the Battle Royale. But after the damage range buff of the Fennec, this became slightly inconsistent. Especially, the ground variant of the MAC-10 feels a little bit off in close range engagements. The only downside of this weapon is the size of the magazine and the damage per bullet, which seems extremely low, even for a solo 1 vs 1 battle. But you can solve this problem with the purple or the legendary variant of the extended magazine mods. Now, with the custom variant of this weapon, I have boosted the damage range and the hipfire accuracy to the maximum level. It is a pretty aggressive build, which mainly thrives in close range engagements. This build is great with the ADS, and it does a great job with the hip firing as well. The extra ammunition capacity with the extended magazine will be extremely helpful inside of the battle royale. And when I say mid-range, I mean, you can use the hip fire up to a pretty longer distance. Anyways, for the mods with this one, I am recommending you to use the hip fire boost mods, the long range mods, and most importantly, the legendary variant of the extended magazine mods, to get the best results possible. Then, coming at number 4 spot, we have the Switchblade X9, which is one of the fastest killing weapon inside of the battle royale. But it got slightly downgraded after the release of this season. This submachine gun has a deadly combination of high damage and fast fire rate. And on top of that, it also has a pretty solid hip fire accuracy and damage range, which is much higher than the Fennec. And with the perfect combination of the mods, you can make just the ground variant so much more powerful that you won't even need to worry about any custom one. It can outpower an enemy almost as fast as the Fennec. But the plus point is, the Switchblade X9 has significantly higher damage range than the Fennec, but the hipfire accuracy is slightly less dense if you compare it to the rest of the submachine guns. Now, with the custom variant of this weapon, I have boosted the damage range and the hipfire accuracy to the maximum level. It is a pretty aggressive build, which mainly thrives in close to mid-range engagements. Anyways, for the mods with this one, I am recommending you to use the hipfire boost mods, the long range mods, and most importantly, the legendary variant of the extended magazine mods, to get the best results possible. Next, coming at number 3 spot, we have the CBR-4, which is also known as the P90. It is a mid-tier submachine gun, which feels almost identical as the RUS-79U in so many ways. This has an awesome combination of fire rate and damage range, which can go up to a pretty noticeable distance. It also has some pretty dense bullet spread, which comes super helpful for hip firing in close quarter engagements. Magazine-wise, it is the second highest in the entire Battle Royale maps, which comes right next to the PPSH-41. And now, for the custom loadout of this weapon, I am using the monolithic suppressor, which will silence the sounds of your shots and increase the overall damage range by a pretty decent amount. The OWC Marksman Barrel will increase the damage range with some great improvement to the ADS accuracy, and it will also improve the overall recoil control of your weapon. The MIP Laser will boost your sprint to fire speed and greatly improve the hip fire accuracy for close range engagements. Overall, this is a pretty powerful custom loadout for mid to close range engagements. It has some great accuracy with the ADS, and it does a decent job with the hip firing as well. Also, this custom CBR-4 has a great balance of high damage range and high recoil control. If you put some extended magazine mods on top of 50 rounds it already has, then you'll be having a ton of ammunition with this build, which will come super helpful while dealing with multiple enemies in close range distance. 
Anyways, for the mods with this one, I am going to recommend you to use the hipfire boost mods, the long range mods, and most importantly, the extended magazine mods, to get the best results possible. Then, coming at number 2 spot, we have the Fennec. This is one of the fastest killing weapon inside of the battle royale. It is extremely optimized for up close engagements. It has one of the fastest amount of rate of fire, and the hipfire accuracy of this weapon is exceedingly accurate. Although it is not as accurate as the RUS, still, it can inflict some serious amount of damage in close quarter engagements. But there are some major downsides, which come along with this weapon. The damage range, and the amount of damage per bullet. However, the time to kill is still more optimized than the MAC-10. Also, the default magazine size is too low, so it is strictly not recommended to use the Fennec without any magazine modification attachments. Anyways, for the custom loadout of this weapon, I am using the MIP Extended Light Barrel and the Monolithic Suppressor, which will increase the damage range and silence the sounds of your shots. And I am using the Extended Magazine A, which is super important attachment for this loadout. This extra ammunition capacity will be extremely helpful inside of the Battle Royale. I have improved the overall damage range and cranked up the hipfire accuracy to the maximum level. It is by far one of the fastest killing loadout in close range distance. Now, for the mods with this one, I am recommending you to use the hipfire boost mods, the long range mods, and most importantly, the legendary variant of the extended magazine mods, to get the best results possible. Now, before we get to the number one spot, I have to talk about one honorable mention, which is the GKS. It is a fully automatic submachine gun, which has pretty low recoil with high accuracy at a moderately high range. The GKS has great hipfire spread and high accuracy at mid-range. It also supports high damage at close range encounters. Although the rate of fire is a little bit slow, but the damage per bullets makes it up in a majority of engagements. It also has some heavily dense ADS spread as well. Although I recommend you to use this weapon for early game only, as you will be facing some pretty tougher challenges during the mid to late games. Here are the best gunsmith loadout for the GKS, which is mainly created for close range hip fire encounters. Anyways, for the mods with this weapon, I am recommending you to use the hipfire boost mods, the long range mods, and most importantly, the extended magazine mods, to get the most effective results possible. And finally, coming at number 1 spot, we have the PPSH-41, which is one of the fastest killing weapon inside of the battle royale. But it got slightly downgraded after the release of the previous season. This submachine gun has a deadly combination of high damage and fast fire rate. And on top of that, it also has a pretty solid hip fire accuracy and high quality damage range, which is much higher than the weapons like the Fennec or the MAC-10. And with the perfect combination of the mods, you can make just the ground variant so much more powerful that you won't even need to worry about any custom one. It can outpower an enemy almost as fast as the Fennec. The biggest plus point is, the PPSH has significantly higher damage range than most of the submachine guns available inside of the battle royale, but the hipfire accuracy is slightly less dense if you compare it to the rest of the weapons. However, it is pretty decent with the aim down sight though. Now, with the custom variant of this weapon, I have boosted the damage range and the hipfire accuracy to the maximum level. It is a pretty aggressive build, which mainly thrives in close to mid-range engagements. And when I say mid-range, I mean, you can use the hipfire up to a pretty longer distance. Anyways, for the mods with this one, I am recommending you to use the hipfire boost mods, the long-range mods, and the extended magazine mods, to get the best results possible. Anyways, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed today's contents. It would be greatly appreciated if you drop a like and share this with your teammates. And if you are new here, then don't forget to press the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I upload some pretty helpful tips and tricks videos and make some pretty powerful gunsmith loadouts for the battle royale. And trust me, you don't want to miss out any of my custom build. Follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server for exclusive tips and more awesome content. Links are provided in the description. Alright then, have a great day. I'll catch you at the next one with another new amazing video for the battle royale. Till then, take care. Bullseye.